What's up my fellow trash and nerds, welcome back to another video. Uh, I don't really have anything planned for today. I'm gonna, don't mind my hair. I have opened a bun. I was watching Hamilton again. I'm gonna do a review of the Playmates figure, but I wanna do like sort of a life thing. Uh, first off, you might've noticed that I updated my, uh, my, uh, my icon, my profile picture or whatever to my Da, 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 da. New Sona, my new persona, which is actually fits my brand. Finally, I finally have something that actually works for me. Uh, so yeah, that is Trashy, uh, which is also my name because that's supposed to be me. But yeah, uh, go check out my TikToks, my every other social media. They'll be down in my in the description. So. You can understand my why I do that or my processes doing that, because that that's not what this video is about. This video is about the pl the pl was it the playmates, Mega Godzilla. But before that, one more thing, I rearranged my room. It's different. Yep, that's my chill corner. I'm gonna film there now. Hopefully, that gives my videos a sort of style. There's not the other side where just random stuff. Yep, there's my desk that I used to film, but not anymore. Hold on, let me grab Mecha God Godzilla verse first before I get everything up set up. <sighs> Hopefully the light looks good once I get this set up. Come on. Hopefully the video or audio doesn't cut out. Let's bring this down a bit more. All right, I got my beanbag chair. Let's hope this uh, this new style works out. Uh, besides that, let's get right into the review of the Playmates. I think it's Playmates. Mechagodzilla, which has now been outdated because they did a repaint with really good re uh, paints now. It's like actually metallic silver rather than this uh, just plain old uh, plain old uh, gray with red I also saw that the plates are actually red more of a clear red so uh, yeah uh, oh yeah technically this is a spoiler for Godzilla vs Kong so if you haven't watched it you probably shouldn't watch this there's going to be spoilers for the movie. I haven't watched it in a while, so I'm not sure if I'm going to remember much and spoil anything else. I recommend you just watch it. I know it's not on HBO Max anymore. It's going to be in like a couple months, I think. I think that's what happens. Or like a couple of years. I don't know. Shazam just got on HBO Max again. Or just got on HBO Max now. So... I don't know. I I don't work at HBO Max, so yeah. Uh, yeah, that's your that's your warning. That's your warning for you know uh, this figure, this action figure I'm reviewing. Yeah, it looks good. It works. I got it for I think Easter. I think I got it for Easter earlier this year. So yeah, I've had this guy for a few months. Holding out good, hasn't bro broken once, except for this one part. It just keeps falling off and I don't know why. Here, see? Oh, I forgot. This is actually part of the figure because uh, because because of the line it came from. They, I don't know why. Kids toys with monsters, they really like showing off battle damage, even though this never actually happens in the movie. Like this specific injury. Uh, Kong does attack his ch uh, his chest, but it doesn't break in this way where it just pulls it off. Yeah. So yeah, that's the first accessory, the chest piece. I think that came off with the figure. That was off when it, the figure came in. I also have the package, but I'm not gonna bring it out. It's in my it's in my closet. I I just put it there after cleaning up my room a couple days ago. Uh, yeah. Also, the last figure is the thing. 
the hovercraft. I forgot the name of it, but I gotta remember. I gotta pull up here. See? The little hovercraft. Vroom, vroom. I, I revived Kong. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Yeah. That was kind of stupid, but whatever. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm liking the setup so far. Hopefully, y'all like it. I feel like it adds a bit more of a, a style to this. Anyway, let's get to the actual figure. Yeah, it's good. It it works. If you can't afford the SH Monsters uh, figure, which is like 800 bucks, I think. It's expensive. It's really expensive. Like, wow, it's expensive. But it looks so good, so... If you're willing to, I don't know, I don't know adult speak when it comes to money. I just became an adult like a year ago. Anyway, yeah, so if you either have a kid uh, of your own or you are you don't have the budget for a, the SH Monster Arts, get this guy. It, it works. The articulation is definitely lacking, but... The larger one, the much bigger version of this guy, is much more lacking when it comes to articulation. Like, they completely inverse the articulation on the bigger guy. Like, uh, before we get to articulation, let's get to the paint, which is very little. Uh, basically, everything is un unpainted uh, besides, you know, the battle damage. I think that's painted in gunmetal gray. Yeah. Uh, that's painted... The chest uh, right here, the little red things right there, that's painted. Let's see, I, I didn't look really well into this. The eyes are painted. They're very small, but they're, they're painted red. You can see that, right? Anyway, yeah, basically that's it. The battle damage, the chest, and the eyes are the only paint, uh, bits painted, so. There's not really a risk of paint, uh, paint damage or like a paint chipping yeah so if you're uh, scared to chip some paint yeah that's not the problem it's actually pretty durable in general i'm surprised i'm uh i'm not surprised i'm just i'm, I'm just glad i haven't broken anything yet uh i might customize it in the future if you ever get bored of it or i just get too curious like with uh roxanne y'all remember roxanne from my prior reviews you know the 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 um, uh the forty k action figure I had. I recently took off her shoulder pads. Uh, it looks much better. It looks more like a character. So I'm gonna have to update her reference soon, uh, especially with my digital uh, art equipment. So speaking of art, if you haven't uh, check out my art stuff in my other uh, videos, uh, if you haven't, why not? Why not? If you got the time, you got you got internet. Watch it. Do it. You don't have anything better to do. If you're like me, you don't have anything better to do. Watch it. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Anyway, uh, back to this children's toy I'm talking about on the internet. Uh, it's all right. I wish the articulation was better. That's about it. All I really want is like, like elbows or like at, at least, at least wrist articulation. Like it was so easy. Look at all that. Look at all that space. Just make it a peg. It's already a peg. Why not make it a peg? That's basically what, what you did to the leg, the, the feet. Plus, these are too loose. But it would be better, but I keep uh, playing with this as, a, as you do as an almost 19-year-old living with your mom. I always play with this on my bed, so keeps getting caught on the fabric yeah if you relate to that subscribe uh but yeah anything anyway the mouth opens very wide uh i you know with the new repaint they also add an accessory of the heat vision the, the heat, heat breath or whatever and you know you know they planned that because there's a port in his mouth you can see it, yeah? Uh, where he has the hole. So yeah, if you are, if you have this and you don't want to get the repaint, you can always make your own heat breath. If you don't have this, I recommend you get the repaint because that looks much better. I don't have it. 
because you know I already have this. Uh, I uh, the repaint does look good, and I kind of want the fire breath. I wish that yeah, that's another complaint of this guy. So yeah. Uh, besides that, you have a hinge, uh, hinge, so his arm can go out, uh, up and down. It's impeded by the shoulder uh, pad. Uh, the uh, he's got wide shoulders. It's a lot more, they're a lot more wide when it comes to an actual accurate figure. Because this guy has a, uh, a ball. It's not a, it's not a ball joint, but it's a joint that's shaped like a ball. So they can't actually get the actual really wide shoulders that actual, 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 actual design has. You can actually see it on the, the SH Mark Shorts ver version. So yeah, besides that, that's about it until we get to the legs. No waist joint, no elbow, or no no wrist. I just want a wrist swivel. That's about it. I don't even want the elbow. It's fine. I can work with it, sort of. But a wrist joint, at least. Playmates, come on. I know you can do this. Ah, I got a cramp in my hand. Sorry. Anyway, uh, just like the shoulders, the, the legs so it can... Go all the way up. Yeah. Ooh, trademark. What's it say? And I tell her playmate. Yeah, playmates. And uh, something, something road, China. All right. Ooh, same thing on the other side. Oh, not the exact same. Legendary uh, asset item. 2020. Yep. So yeah, that's how far the legs go. It's a hinge swivel. Then you got a hinge for the legs. It doesn't, it goes out, it goes forward more, you know, cause it's a robot. It can do whatever it wants. And then it bends that much. It's fine. Uh, if you notice the Mechagodzilla actually stands up right like a human in the movie. I noticed that I always see people animating him in like 3D models or like uh, posing him like he walks around like Godzilla when he actually walks around more like a mecha, uh, like King Kong. Like this is what he looks like in the movie. He stands upright, but the way they angled the head, it just, it doesn't work. So you have to hunch him a little bit so he can get that movie accurate pose. Yeah. Uh, besides that, you have a swivel for the feet as I said before it's also at a weird angle so they'll always be weird like look at that that's like a, a I don't know math but that's a math degree right there and then technically our last joint but you know it it's a ball joint at the tail so it can turn but if you're smart like me you count the flexi tail like in a joint in itself because it's a flexi tail, it moves. So technically it's a joint. So yeah, it's not a lot. It works for how much you're getting. It's like 15 bucks, 10 bucks even. I think that's, it's 10 bucks. So yeah, 10 buck action figure, two accessories. Uh, it works for what it is. So yeah, would I recommend this? Yeah, if you're interested in a Mechagodzilla, uh, figure from the movie uh, that is within a budget. Yeah, I recommend it. Uh, would I rather uh, recommend the repaint? I think so. I think that's a better figure in general. So yeah, uh, that is the Playmates Mechagodzilla from Godzilla vs. Kong. Uh, good figure. I recommend it. It's good. After all, it is my first... Godzilla figure that isn't Godzilla. Uh, or at least a organic Godzilla. The Indominus Rex doesn't count. Oh, hold on. There we go. He doesn't count. That's not a Godzilla figure. Huh. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, that was the what I just said. I keep repeating myself at the end of these videos because I don't know what else to do. So yeah. Uh, check out my... Uh, Check out my uh, social medias for more uh, about my 
new persona uh, because I'm really proud of it and I finally have a, a icon that works with the channel name. Yeah, so basically besides that, check them, check them also out for all my, all my other art. Uh, any other my hot takes. I recently started a new t TikTok account called Trashy Talks where I just give you my random thoughts and I recently posted today. I posted both on my, my TikTok account with my art and other stuff and my t Trashy Talks account. So yeah, I'll try and put those in the, uh, the, the description. I'll try and put those down there. Anyway, so yeah, uh, thank you all so much if you made it this far. I hope so. I think I was pretty entertaining this video, especially with the new setup. Uh, especially since I wasn't all the way back here, the lighting's kind of bad. So yeah, besides that, uh, I'll see you all next Friday. Peace out.